Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Noderman. Today I want to talk to you about being thankful. It also means that you have gratitude. We've talked before about having an attitude of gratitude, which means you recognize those things that you are thankful for. We're going to talk about a few things I want you to find that you are thankful for. Why? Because being thankful helps us feel good and it also brings us some happiness when we stop to think about the good things in our lives. First of all, I want you to think about somebody or some people that you are thankful for. You may even live with them. And if you do live with them, I would like you to find them and tell them thank you. If you're thinking about people you don't live with or are farther away right now, look for a picture. Ask your mom, ask your dad, the grown-ups at home for a picture of those people you are thankful for. Or you can even draw a picture of them. I am thankful for my family. Here's an older picture of my family of my kids and my husband. They're not near me right now, so I do miss them. I sure am thankful for them all. I know if they were near me, they would say things like, I love you, mom. I know that they would be happy to see me with a lot of smiles and they would wish me well. So the people I'm thankful for are my kids and my husband, my family. Who are you thankful for? Go ahead, find those people or look for a picture of them. Number two. What is something soft and warm and cuddly that you're thankful for? It's kind of cold today. I'm very thankful for my clothing that is warm. I have a sweat, I have a shirt right here that's really warm and cuddly that I like to cuddle with and put on. I also am really thankful for my cuddly poodle, Lenny. Here he is. He's been sleeping on my lap. Lenny is a cuddly dog. You may have a cuddly cat or a dog that you're thankful for too. You also might have a pillow, a stuffed animal, a blanket. Find something now in our scavenger hunt that's warm and cuddly that you are thankful for. Number three, I want you to think about something outside that you are thankful for. I'm not going outside because it's kind of cold today, but I want you to look out my window with me. And as I look out my window, I see some trees. I see my lawn out there. I see the snow too. And it makes me think about being thankful for the trees that are out there. Trees are so important. They give us shade in the summer. They're pretty. They make our houses look nice. Um, they also block the snow. Having a nice yard to play in or have my dogs play in, I'm thankful for those things. Number four, I want you to think about something you like that you are thankful for that you have. Hmm. Some things that I'm thankful for, I like to do a lot of writing and drawing, and I'm really thankful for the different types of pens I have I get to draw with or, or write with. I'm also thankful for my device. My device I'm showing you is my cell phone. A lot of you are using devices, of course, and you should be very thankful for those things. So those are the four things I want you to find. People you're thankful for, something soft and cuddly you're thankful for, something outside you are thankful for, and something you own that you're really thankful for. And then I also want you to do this. Think about what it would be like to not have those things or those people in your life. Might be kind of sad, might be lonely, might not be as much fun. Just think about that because it helps us have even more thankfulness for those things. Remember, attitude of gratitude which means an attitude of thankfulness. Helps us feel good, and when we feel good, we're better learners, we're better friends, and we make better choices. All right, hope you're doing well.